Do you have an Amazon product with different variations to it, such as different colors and different sizes? So you could have separate listings for each variation, or you can group all of your variations, which are called child listings, under one listing, which is called a parent listing. This allows your customers to find your product and then see on one page all the different options that you offer. So I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to do this in bulk by uploading what's called a flat file. Flat files may look a little bit intimidating at the beginning, but that's exactly what I'm here for. So even if you're a beginner, you'll easily be able to follow along. So let's jump into my computer and let's get into it. To download your template, go to Menu, Catalog, Add Products, then click I'm uploading a file to add multiple products. Step 1. Choose the category that best describes your product. Step 2. Select Marketplaces. Step 3. Select the type of template. I'm just going to leave it as is. Then click Generate Template. Now you want to open this file in either Excel or Google Sheets. If you don't have Excel, I'll link a free web version in the description box. Or I like to use Google Sheets, which is also free. So for this example, we're using Google Sheets. We're going to click Start a new template and click blank. Then you're going to click File, Import, Upload, then select or drag template you just downloaded. Now let's quickly go over what each tab means. Instructions. You can give this tab a read over to get a better understanding of the spreadsheet. Images. This is nice that Amazon includes this. It's a reminder of their product image guidelines that us sellers have to abide by. Example. In this tab is seven examples of a completed template. Data definitions. If you don't know what any of the titles mean, this tab gives you the definitions along with examples. If you scroll over, it tells you which fields are optional and which are required. Template. This is the tab that we're going to be filling out. Browse data. This is your product's category path and this will come into play later when filling out the template. Valid values. If you're ever confused on what you're supposed to fill a cell with, this tab tells you the values that Amazon will accept. You'll notice that there are a ton of sections in the template and you might be wondering, so what do I actually have to fill out? Like I mentioned earlier, you can find out which fields are required by going to Data Definitions, scrolling over, and it will say Required or Optional. Also, there are actually some sections you can skip even if they say Required. If you happen to miss a section that was actually required, no worries. When you upload the file, it will tell you which sections you have to go back and add. To make things easier, we can put a filter on this tab so we're only viewing the required fields. So select the entire sheet, press this filter button to turn filters on, scroll over and click this button here above the required optional column, select required. Now you have a list of just the required fields. Now let's go over to the template tab and start filling it out. We're not going to fill out every single section in this tutorial, so we're just going to fill out the required fields. Different categories will have different templates, so if you're following along, yours might look a bit different than mine, but this tutorial is still relevant to all categories. For some of these boxes, you can click the drop-down and it will give you valid values to choose from. There's a bit of a glitch with Google Sheets though, so I'm going to be referring to the Valid Values tab instead. However, it does let me do it for this first column, feed product. So click the drop down and select your product type. And we're going to do one parent and then three children. Item SKU. Feel free to give your products a unique SKU name. So the first row is going to be the parent, which is the listing that groups together all your variations. And the rows after that is going to be the variations, aka child listings. Enter in your brand name under brand name, or enter in generic if you're selling a generic product. External product ID and external product ID type. So this is any valid GCID, UPC, or EAN, aka a barcode. So you have a few options here. One, purchase UPC barcodes from gs1.org. Two, 
Apply for a GTIN exemption with Amazon under your brand name so you can list products without a barcode. I have a video on this and it's a super simple process and you'll get approved within 48 hours. So I'll link that video in the description box and up above. And three, if you're selling generic products, again, you can apply for the GTIN exemption, except with generic, you'll get approved immediately. Then you can list under the generic brand without a barcode, aka a product ID. So if you get GTIN exempt, you would leave all of these here blank. Or if you bought barcodes, you would leave the parent blank, but you would enter them in for the children listings. And each child listing is going to have its own unique barcode. And then your product ID type would be a UPC, if that's what you purchased. Item name. So this is the listing title of your product. You will want to do your keyword research for this instead of just putting a simple title like catnip toy. When I have a tutorial out on keyword research, I'll link it in the description box. But if you do want to go ahead and do some keyword research, a tool I recommend for this is Helium 10. And I actually have a 50% off link in the description if you're interested. Under manufacturer, you can go ahead and use your brand name recommended browse nodes. So this is just a number that you're going to copy and paste from the browse data tab. And it's this number right here. Unit count. This number is most likely going to be one. It's basically asking how many unique barcodes are included in your listing. For example, if you have a bundle listing of gardening supplies containing gloves, a shovel, and seeds, and each item has its own barcode, then the answer would be three. But in this case, it's one. Unit count type. So there's count, gram, meter, millimeter, square meter. I'm going to select count. Quantity. If you're doing FBA, enter in zero, that will be fine. If you were doing FBM, Fulfilled by Merchant, enter in how many of each variation you have available for sale. Is product expirable? Enter in yes or no. Main image URL. You can enter in the URL to an image here if you want, but I like to leave it blank and go into each variation and upload the images from my computer to Amazon that way. Now scroll over to the variation section. The first listing is a parent, so enter in parent. And the rest are child listings. Parent skew. You're going to leave the parent blank, but we're going to put the parent skew under the child listings here so they link up. So go back over and copy the parent skew name and paste it under each child. Under relationship type, we're going to leave parent blank. And these are variations. And for variation theme, go back to valid values to see your options. So for this category, we have flavor, size name, scent, color name, flavor size, size color, style name. But for this example, we're going to do color. The parent might need it, so I'll add it. Now go over to Update Delete. If you are creating new listings, type Update. If you wanted to list an existing child under a parent, you would type Partial Update. And then it would link your existing listing to this new parent. But ours don't exist, so we're going to do Update. Product Description. So this is the description that's going to be on your product listing page manufacturer part number. This is given by some manufacturers. If you don't have it, just leave it blank. Now scroll over to the bullet points. So these are the bullet points that are going to be on your product listing page so you can list the benefits of your product. So go ahead and fill out all the bullet points if you can. I'm copying and pasting the same bullet point because this is just an example, but obviously you would want each bullet point to be different. Color name. So since my variation theme was color, I'm going to fill out the color name here and I'll fill out the color map while I'm at it. This is optional. Now we're going to go over to batteries required. 
So type in yes or no. Mine is no. Since we entered no, you don't have to fill out any of the other battery information. But if you said yes, then you would have to in that case. Now under the offer section, we're going to go to your price. This is the price you're selling each product for. The parent is not a sellable item, so leave it blank. And enter in your price for each child. They can be different prices. And if you're selling in multiple marketplaces, you'll want to enter your price for the other marketplaces. Now under the fulfillment section, you can enter in the package height, width, length, and the unit of measure and the weight if you want to. Or if you want to do it later, Amazon will prompt you when you're sending in a shipment for these items. So if you know this information now, go ahead and enter it if you want to get it out of the way. However, I don't have the items in front of me right now and I don't know the measurements and the weight, so I'm just going to leave it blank and enter it in later. Now we're going to export and upload this file to Amazon. So go to File, Download, and download it as a Microsoft Excel file. Now go back into Amazon, click Menu, Catalog, Add Products. I'm uploading a file to add multiple products. Select the Upload Your Inventory File tab. Drag and drop your file. You can type in your email address if you want it to alert you when it's done uploading. It doesn't take that long though, unless you have a big file probably. Click Upload File. You'll see your file uploading. And then when it's ready, it will say Upload Status Done. If there's any errors, you can click Download Your Processing Report. Open it up and it will tell you your errors that you need to fix. Wait about 15 minutes and you will see your listings and variations appear in your Inventory tab. So if you happen to have any issues with your flat file, feel free to comment below. That's a tongue twister. Feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Or if you wanted to contact seller support, they're pretty good at answering. So I have a two minute video on how to contact them by phone or email up here. And if you want to know more about selling on Amazon, you will love this playlist of mine here. If you feel like this video was helpful, please give it a like so it can spread to and help more people. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see more Amazon videos from me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.